Questions for Chris? <clears throat> Congratulations, Chris. TK Phone Women Wrestling Talks. So congratulations on retaining. Uh, we talked about this yesterday um, about Jay coming back, and we left Jay a couple weeks ago. And she said that she speaks to you, TK, very often. Um, so, is there any plans for her coming back? Yeah, I'm very excited. Uh, you know, I've talked to Jay recently. I think uh, hopefully we get Jay back in soon. Obviously, it was Chris Statlander who put Jay on the shelf, and Jay one of the most successful stars ever in AEW. So uh, we'll have to stay tuned to see when and where Jade might pop up again in the world. And uh, definitely a big fan of Jade. Uh, and she put together one of the most dominant runs ever. It was very fitting that she was stopped by one of the top stars in AEW. And now uh, Chris has gone on uh, to carry the TBS championship, only the second person ever to carry the TBS championship. And it's very fitting, a great championship that's had two great champions now, uh, great defense from Chris tonight, she's had some great matches with Ruby, and I think it shows how far you both come in some of these matches, how full circle uh, the relationship is, and also with the fans, because certainly I remember being in Las Vegas a while back, and the crowd really was rooting for you to pull it off, and I think everyone was really happy to see you pull it off tonight in the championship. Yeah, I finally got that big one over Ruby, it takes him so long. Uh, but also addressing Jade, um, as I've said before, uh, I am willing to prove that my win over her was not a fluke. I know there's, of course, the controversy of it was the second match that she really put out the challenge, and I, am, whenever she's ready, I'm accepting any challenge from anyone, especially her, and I will prove that my win was my win, and I truly am the TBS champion. Thank you, Chris. Emily May with WrestlingNews.co. So congratulations, Chris, on retaining tonight. I would love for you to tell us what it means to be able to retain that championship tonight and to be embraced by the AEW fans and what that journey has been like since this big win. It's, uh, it's always such a special feeling to, one, just be a part of such a big event such as All Out. Um, I remember the last All Out that I was a part of, it was me versus Britt for the AEW Women's Championship uh, here. I believe it might have been the Now Arena though, but it's here in Chicago. And I uh, did not come out on top, unfortunately. So to be able to walk into uh, a pay-per-view match, the same pay-per-view All Out in Chicago with the title and then keep it, it's just like, okay, I'm here, I'm really doing it. And uh, especially after, you know, the double knee surgeries, uh, to be able to go out there and do what I do and to not be worried about my knees, to not have any fear and to only have to worry about making sure that this comes home with me. Uh, it's such a rewarding thing, not just, not just like physically, but like mentally, I'm like, all right, I'm here, I'm good, I'm doing it, and uh, yeah, I was so thankful to be a part of such an amazing event, and to be able to make All Out feel just as important as All In was, because that was, you know, it was a monumental thing. Um, so I know there was a lot of people being like, oh, maybe this might not be the same, but I think all of us that were on the paper region I stepped up and were like, we're putting on a freaking show for you guys. Don't, don't even worry about it. It's always just, uh, it means a lot to me to be able to be one of these people to step up whenever I need to. Hey Chris, Mike Schell with Fancy Scoops. Um, we're a few months into your current run. You're back for a few months. Uh, only had a few matches since then. So do you feel like you're fully back in terms of like in the groove of getting all your reps in? Do you feel like you're kind of are you feeling like you're at P4? Or you feel like you're still kind of getting your seat legs up to you? And, sorry, it's a two-part question. Do you feel the need at all to kind of modify your ring style as you come back from your big injuries? So, okay, so I think, uh, I feel like I wouldn't have come back when I did if I wasn't at my peak. And every time I show up here, I show up to almost every single dynamite, collision, rampage. I'll show up to Ring of Honor when I can. I'll always get in the ring and I'll work around and I'll just do things and I'll 
just try to, you know, stay on top of my game because, you know, being on top of my game is very, very important to me. And especially after, you know, having such extensive injuries, I mentally I'm very worried about like, I hope I, I, hope I haven't lost it yet. Uh, so it is very important that I try to get those thoughts out of my head and be on top of my game and, you know, be at my peak, but come back better, bigger, better. I said better twice. Stronger <laughs> than before. Um, and then, uh, what was your second part? Uh, just, do you feel the need to kind of modify your style at all, or would that say first? Uh, okay, so I, again, I would not have come back if I couldn't do everything that I did before. And I know we've seen me, you see me do the tombstone, you see me do the 450, and I know, I, I know people worry about me, but I would not be back doing what I do if I wasn't ready to. Um, the only thing that I at least try to be conscious of is to not grab my leg around someone's neck and cut their head off because I don't think that'd be good TV. <laughs> so that's, I try to, you know, keep people's heads on at least. People very aggressive. We'll save that part. Kevin Callum was Sports Keto Wrestling. Obviously at All In, something that got people's attention before the show was even on the air was the presence of Mercedes Monet. A uh, big superstar in pro wrestling. A lot of people have been anticipating her coming to All Elite Wrestling. You were a champion. Obviously, they would make you a little bit more of a target if she did show up. And how do you feel about that? And how does the women's locker room feel about the possibility of her joining the company? Um, I think the women's locker room is always ready for a challenge. Uh, we're willing to accept anybody that wants to step our way and put us to the test. And as a champion, I know that there's always a target on my back. And if she wants to step up to me, I'm ready for her. I'm anytime, anywhere. That's what I want. That's what I do. Two more questions. Before we leave with the wrestling observer, how are you doing today? Um, I wanted to ask you about your feelings on the main event especially with Orange Cassidy losing the international title, but also the fact that you guys were in basically his entrance and then also coming out there at the end of the show to kind of give him props and basically just talk a little bit about your relationship with Orange and, you know, basically working on the Indies and then coming up to this point where he's in the main event of one of the biggest shows of the year um, against, I mean, I'm probably going to say, you know, the MVP of AEW since it's for John Moxley. Mm -hmm. So, like I said, do you have any thoughts on that? And um, look forward to hearing your answer. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, I have a lot of thoughts. Um, if it weren't for OC, I would not be half the wrestler that I am today. I owe so much of everything I've ever done to him um, because, sure, we wrestled a few times on the Indies and we were friends. Uh, <laughs> But it wasn't until we both came to AEW that we really became best friends. And he always checks on me. I always check on him. Um, we truly have each other's backs. We really are best friends. We travel. We hang out together. Um, and it was it was emotional walking into that, seeing the state that he's in, seeing um, what he was about to get himself into and I think at the end after everything kind of went down all of us uh, me Trent and Chuck we were all standing in there about to cry like about to hug him and we were all like trying to hold back tears so they'll probably be mad at me for saying that we were all about to cry but I was about to cry and we all love him and we were telling him how much we love him um, he's truly best I'm getting oh. last question <laughs> last question for Chris Leo Angelo from Starfire Wrestling. Chris, first off, congratulations on a successful time in defense. Uh, secondly, I wanted to ask, is there anyone in particular, uh, Mercedes Monet aside, that you'd like to face for your TBS championship? Anyone on the roster, whether it be Ring of Honor or in particular, like I said, on the all Elite roster? Of course. Um, I think maybe get a full taste of Tony Storm. I know she's a little crazy right now, but, you know, she's. She, she kind of went crazy after losing a title. I'm sure she's prop she showed up tonight, so no doubt in my mind she might be having her eyes on my belt. Um, and if we get a chance to settle that, 
I would love to do that. Um, Soraya is another one. Get a full taste of that. That be a wild champion versus champion thing. You, you never know what might happen with that. But that would be a really cool thing to see. Who's the top champion there? Um, when she eventually returns, Jamie Hader. I have so much love for her. I think she is incredible. Um, Willow. <laughs> just, just let me wrestle everybody. <laughs> so, I'm just going to list the entire roster. But uh, yeah, there's... I... Uh, yeah, I, I, I want to wrestle every single woman that we have here. Truly. Thanks, Chris. That's it.